Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about calculating the heteroscedasticity robust standard errors in Stata. We'll start out by reviewing the formula for the heteroscedasticity robust standard errors and talk about just how we calculate each one of these components. We'll start here at the top. Ej is the residuals when we regress explanatory variable j on all the other explanatory variables. E is just the regular residual from the original regression, and the RSSJ is the RSS from regressing variable j on all the other explanatory variables. N is the sample size, and N minus K minus 1 is the degrees of freedom. We're back here in Stata, and we're going to calculate each of these. I've loaded up the data set wage one, and we're going to estimate a simple Mincer equation. We're going to regress log of wage on years of education and years of experience. The first thing we can get is E, the residuals from the original regression. To do that, I'm going to predict and I will now name my new variable. I'll just call it E with the residuals option. Now, if I want to calculate the heteroscedasticity robust standard error for education, education will be our variable J is in the formula. So I'm going to regress education on experience. We'll take note of a few things here. First, the RSS from this regression is the one that will go in the denominator. I also am going to need the residuals from this equation, so I'm going to predict education E, E for residuals, residuals. For experience, I'm going to do the same thing. Regress experience on education. We'll take note of the RSS from this regression and then will predict the experience residuals as well. So I'm going to predict expert E residuals. Let's go to the data browser and check out what we've just done. I'm going to scroll all the way to the right. And we can see we have three new variables here. We have the residuals from the original regression, and then we have the residuals from each of these secondary regressions. Thinking back to our formula, we have inside the summation, the product of E squared times EJ squared. And EJ is going to be either education or experience, depending on which variable is J. So what I wanna do is calculate a variable that has that component inside of it. So I'm gonna generate some component for education equals E squared times educ E squared. And for experience, we'll do the same thing. Gen sum component expert, and you can name these whatever you want, equals E squared times expert E squared. Let's look at those. Now the summation we want will be the sum of all of these and then the sum of all of these depending on which variable we're looking at. Let's do education first. So there's a nice little trick that we can use to sum up all of those numbers. So I'm going to summarize, or you can just put sum for short, summarize some component educ. Now I'm going to display r of sum. And r of sum basically just adds up the sum for the last variable that we used summarize on, which in this case is our sum component for education. Okay, so I get about 875. Now thinking back to the formula, we need to divide this thing by the square of the RSS from 
the secondary regression. So I'm going to take the number we just got there, divide that by going back to our regression of education on experience and take the residual sum of squares from that and square it. Now, we also need to do the finite sample adjustment here. Multiply this by n, which is 526, divided by n minus k minus 1. And if we go back to the original regression, that's 526 minus 3. So 523. And finally, to get the standard error, we need to take the square root of this number. Now I'm going to verify this by running the original regression, but with robust standard errors. What you can see here is that we get an answer very close to the robust standard error from the robust option. Now there is going to be a slight difference here and that's just because of rounding error when we calculated it manually. Let's do the same thing for the experience robust standard errors. For this one we're going to need to summarize the sum component for experience and R sum that Now we can basically take the same format that we used for education, but just replace these numbers with the relevant ones for experience. So I'm going to paste the sum in there, and then I'm going to take the RSS from the experience regression and replace that. n and n minus k minus one stay the same. So I will just execute that. But of course we also need to take the square root of this. Now we can compare this with the robust standard error from the table above. We can see that those are in fact the same. We can also calculate the robust standard errors for the constant term. This requires one extra step, which we have done before, which is to generate a new variable. We'll just call it ones. It's just a column of ones. Now the secondary regression that we need to do for this is regressing ones on all the other explanatory variables, which are education and experience, but without a constant. We'll take note of the RSS here, but also we need to predict constant E residuals, then generate a sum component for the constant equal to constant E squared times E squared. I'm now going to summarize some component constant R sum, and now we're ready to go. So I'm going to take my expression for experience, but I'm just going to copy and paste our new values in. So we'll take the RSS uh, from the last regression we did n and n minus k minus 1 are going to stay the same. Now we can compare this number with the robust standard error from the table and it in fact is the same or at least very close to the same due to rounding error. And that's how you calculate the robust standard errors. If you have any questions be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching.